and it seems to be going. We can test the throttle. That was weird. How to set up the Ishin Wizard with the Tyrannus. And the reason we're doing this is because no one has a straight answer on how to do this, and I broke two propellers on mine trying to learn how to do it. Therefore, this is an actual setup on how to work Ishin Wizard with a Tyrannus using the X8R, which is usually comes with your Tyrannus. All right, so we're gonna crack open the Ishin. So it comes in like this. Um, you got your little receiver cable coming out here and that's connected under uh, PPM on the flight controller. So what we need to do is crack it open and we're going to do a quick little, um, a quick little fix. Alright, so now I've cracked off all six of these bolts. Um, I'm going to just pop off the top. Um, so you're just going to want to be careful with the um, the power cables down there. We're actually going to just dump that back in there. We don't need that. Um, and we're going to leave the camera. I don't know why we're trying to bring that with us. Why is that not popping off? There we go. So we're going to leave the camera down there. We're going to just kind of throw that off to the side like that. Um, so these little carbon fiber pieces are going to just go absolutely everywhere. Um, but so we're not going to worry about that for now. So what we are really concerned about here is getting our receiver cable, um, which something that might come in handy. Uh, the black is ground, the red is um, uh, like power, and then the white is uh, signal. Um, that's something that I didn't know, and it might come in handy for you in just a few seconds. So what we're going to do? So it's set up through CP or PPM right here, and we're going to just go move this port over to this side. So I'm going to just push on this the corners here and just ease it out and there we have our receiver cable and we're just going to push it back in on this side. And you can see how it goes in. Um, uh, kind of, there's a little bit of a groove so you can't put it in upside down or backwards but um, can't hurt to look at it that way you're not you know all right, so that is it. Uh, that is exactly what you need to do. Um, so the next step is binding the receiver uh, with the um, Tyrannus. So what we're gonna do here real quick is pull up the Tyrannus. All right, so first what we're gonna do, we're gonna fire up the Tyrannus and we're gonna hold down the menu button and we're gonna do a quick little setting here. Um, if you just press the up arrow, you're just gonna wanna make sure you're on mode two here and you've got um, your TAER. Uh, and we're gonna set that up in beta flight in a couple minutes, but TAER is the setting you wanna make sure it's on. Um, pretty much everything else in that menu, you don't need to worry about. Um, now we're gonna go in and make a new uh, model by clicking Create Model. And then here, we're gonna click Page, press Up to go all the way to the bottom. And we're going to make sure this is all ready to go. So we want uh, internal RF, D16, channel one through eight, we won't need any more than that. Um, and then receiver number five. You can change that number to whatever you want, as far as I know. Um, so now we are going to get a battery. Um, so we're going to grab a battery for the, for the quad. Just pull these off for a second. Um, and we're gonna make sure our VTX antenna is plugged in. Sometimes that's not necessary, but uh, it's just probably good practice to do it anyway. Um, and we are going to plug our little cable thing here into the XAR on this S bus port. So we've got that little hat shaped thing um, and that'll be our white. So we're gonna plug that all the way to the bottom here. Okay, so we're gonna point it like that. fiddly fingers and it's plugged in. Um, so this is actually how the uh, XAR will stay and we'll just simply put it inside the quad and feed the antennas out everywhere else. Um, and then 
we are going to hold down the FS thing. So I'm going to, it's nice to use an Allen wrench for this because you probably already have it out and it's got a little thing so you can actually hold it with one hand. So you're going to go ahead and hold that down while you are plugging in the quad. And once it's booted up, you can see we've got a green and red light uh, and we're gonna just click this bind button and it's gonna make a horrible noise. I just will do it maybe once or twice. And we're gonna hold this until we unplug the battery like that. And you can release that. And now when we turn on, and we go ahead and plug the quad back in without holding that little button, it'll come up down here saying we've got full. Other way you can see this here is um, totally bound up. That so. All right, so that is all ready to go. Our receiver is inside, set up to uh, S bus. Now we're gonna go over to uh, Betaflight and finish the setup completely. All right, so now that we're on the computer, we're going to run over to download the Betaflight configurator. Um, I didn't mean to type that, I meant to type config. There, there it is, that thing, boom. All right, so we are going to quickly launch this. Oh, apparently I already have it. So you're gonna definitely wanna download it, install it, um, and then launch it. And I, if you right click down here and pin to taskbar, this is going to be the exact same as on the Mac. Uh, that's what's nice about this. So we're gonna go ahead. So two things before you do anything. Um, if you try to plug in your drone now, nothing will happen and you'll see why right now. So we're gonna come over to these little things, latest CP210. We're gonna download these drivers um, just quickly. Uh, what am I on, 10? Um, Pretty sure it's just this top one default. So we're download that. We're gonna go ahead and close out of that, and then we're gonna download this. This is actually the most important one. These are the USB drivers for the drone, um, and we're gonna scroll down to click Get Software. We're gonna have to sign away our left kidney, and unfortunately register. The uh, 64-bit one uh, x86 is 32-bit. Ask me why they do that, but it is so. All right, so once we have both of those installed, unfortunately we have to you know, give our computers away to it. All right, so those are all installed, so now we are actually going to start beta flight and connect the quadcopter. So I'm gonna turn on my little auto connect switch here so I just see it right when I plug it in. It's gonna install the drivers, and there we go. We are in beta flight with the quad. And when we lift the quad, we can actually see it moving around and left and right, that kind of thing. So that's kind of a nice thing to, to have set up. So now we're gonna just kind of go through the settings really fast and um, yeah. So one thing I like to do is um, we can set it on a flat surface and we'll set up a, we'll uh, calibrate the accelerometer. So, um, it's not really that important if it's perfectly, perfectly level, given that it's in acro mode. So we'll just let it sit there and it will calibrate. And I'll probably do that once or twice. Okay, so once we've got it calibrated, we're gonna go down here to ports. We are going to just make sure a couple of things are switched. So we're gonna leave this top one the way it is. Uh, and then this bottom one, we're gonna flip this serial RX um, and that should be it for that. Uh, next, we're gonna go down to configuration. Um, we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're gonna make sure that this is a um, serial-based receiver because we are running uh, the X8R on the S bus connection. That's why we switched that little cable over on the actual quad. Um, and then we're gonna just run this down to S bus. So I like to save and reboot. You'll hear it probably do something if you have your battery plugged in. Um, if you don't have your battery plugged in, you won't hear anything. Uh, so once we did that, you'll notice that this turned off. And these are the things that I'm trying to, f I am, this is why I'm making this video, is because that is what screwed my quad up, is that you turn one thing on, you save it after changing another thing, and it screws it up. So 
We're going to change that. We're going to click Save and Reboot. We're going to come back down to Configuration and make sure that our... See, and it switched again there. Fuck you. How about... Save and Reboot. Okay. Now, we are going to make sure the quad is configured at 270 degrees. This is the most important setting you can make on your quadcopter because if you have this set to minus 90 the way it comes, I guess minus 90 and 270 are the exact same, but if you have it set like mine was zero, and the reason my quad blew up is because that was set to zero. You may need to make sure that's either minus 90 or 270, save and reboot. And the way you want to check that is by coming up to the setup tab and actually picking up the quad and and leaning it forward. If it leans forward, you're good. If it leans backwards, you're good. You'll tilt it to the left, it goes left, and right, it goes right. So this is set up the way I want it to be set up right now. If I tilt it forward, it goes forward and back. You want to make 100% sure that this is how your quad is set up, or else it will spin around and blow up on the ground. And that is the most depressing thing that you can have happen, especially when it's your first mini quad. Okay, now that I've gotten rid of my rant, we're going to make sure that these things are all still set, Serial, bleh, serial RX, make sure that's set. Gonna roll down, Serial Base and SBUS, still all set, just want to make sure. Um, I pr presently don't roll too much on the, uh, this bit here. We're just going to make sure we've got one, one shot, one, two, five. You might as well turn the black box on. I'm going to change this gyro update frequency from 4 to 2. Save and reboot after I change that. So we're going to come down here and click permanently enable air mode. Save and reboot. Keep our, we're going to just keep our eyes on these three settings here. Every once in a while we're going to want to make sure we didn't screw that up. Um, and now what we're going to do is put the... Uh, uh, battery in the quad and turn our turn on our to receiver and make or on our Tyrannus and make sure that everything is working. And just make sure there are no wires near the motors because they are going to spin. All right, so once we have our once we have our battery in the quad, uh, we are going to close out of that. I don't know why that came up. So we have our battery in the quad. Oh, now it's rolling. Oh, I wonder why. All right. Okay, so that was weird. It wasn't showing up at first, but uh, now it is. Don't really know why. I think I, when I rebooted it, it fixed it. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to T A E R 1234. Make sure that's disabled. I don't know why the quad is flipping out right now. And we're going to just uh, play with our, our controls. And we're going to just kind of fly this quad in. Uh, in this little preview thing, make sure when you, you know, pitch forward, it flips. Pitch back, it uh, flips back. You roll right and roll left, uh, and throttle. Uh, your little throttle bar goes up. So you're gonna want to just make sure that everything here is working the way it should, um, and is basically matching what you are doing on the quad or on your uh, Tyrannus, uh, and showing what it would do on the quad. So once we have that, we're going to just kind of finish these last couple of modes. If you don't have the modes, make sure you have this enable expert mode um, open. Um, I don't do any of this rubbish uh, or that or that. Um, I think we're probably done with our, we're probably done with the quad. So we're going to come back up to the setup. We're going to pitch forward. Uh, can you just tilt the quad forward? Just make sure we're going to make sure everything is totally 100% um, the way it should be. Uh, come back to our ports, make sure the serial RX is good. Configuration 270 S bus, we're all good here. We're going to come back, make sure our, um, our receiver is still doing what it should. Um, and then we're going to click save, come back up to configuration, click save and reboot. And we're just going to click the disconnect button. And the quad is ready to fly. 
All right, so now that we've got everything all programmed and ready to go, um, we are going to just make sure the quad is uh, good to go um, just on the table. Uh, we're going to make sure that things are spinning. Um, it is impossible to know if it is going to fly the way it should um, without the propellers on. Um, but uh, it's, at least you know that you are getting a good arm and everything's working. So I am going to go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Uh, you can see it booting up there. I'm going to turn on my Tyrannus. And make sure I have a signal here. And to arm this quad the way it comes default. Um, so in order to arm this quad, we are going to basically make sure the throttle is turned all the way down. Make sure the quad is on a level surface. And we're going to tap the throttle all the way to the right. And it seems to be going. We can test the throttle. That was weird. Excuse me. Okay, so a little bit, a, something made me a little bit nervous when we first started turning this on. We gave it a little bit of throttle, and the motors just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and getting faster and faster. And that made me a little bit nervous. I thought I screwed something up on my friend's quad. Uh, I went over on my quad over here, made sure that mine did that too, which it does, so it's not anything to worry about. Um, so, yeah, these are ready to fly. Make sure when you're setting it up that the propellers are on in this direction. Um, I Every time I take my quad out uh, and put new propellers on it, I'm running currently King Kong props because they're dirt cheap and they're really good. Um, uh, every time I put those on, I Google I Google how to set it up first. So, um, let's put it over here. All right, so I make sure that I know uh, 100% how the motors spin and how the props are supposed to go on um, because if you don't you can really goof up your quad so that was a really long way to show this um, but uh, at least it was thorough on how to set up the XAR and the Tyrannus to run the Esheen Wizard X220 peace out <laughs>